fucking knows, man. The fucking barmy. That's what you imported to this country. I'm still trying to process what I've just seen. So that's a video that's just been leaked online. Shout out to Seduction Prince. That's a good blog. Go check that out. You always got good stories. Like, I'm actually going to break this down in a second. But I'm just trying to figure out what I'm seeing. Like, especially with the week that we've had. RIP to, um, was it Ileana Adam? Like, the, the young 15-year-old girl that was killed in South London, stabbed to death. And we have youths. These youths don't even look old enough to... They look like 10. Look at this one here. Look at this one with the bandage on. Like, he's already been, look, look, look. And is that a grown man? Look at them. Look at the size of the machetes. These aren't even, and look at the tip of it. It had blood on the tip. Look at the tip. The guy in the green. And this is, look at the young, look at him. Look at the blood. No, this is mad. Look at the delivery drive. This is broad daylight. He knows, man, the fucking barmy. That's what you imported to this country. And there's always one racist on. Fucking barmy. That's what you get when you import into this country. Bro, man just throwing them subliminal racist jives there. Like, come on, bro. There's always one, though, innit? Like, I'm not gonna, like, what, what's that? What's the need for? Why have you had to make it about a race thing? Why have you had to say about imported to this country? You don't know they wasn't born here. What do you mean? You see, nah. Hella racist, but let's get back to it. <laughs> No, I had to freeze it there. Look at that little, look at my man. He looks like 10 years old and look how he just swung that machete. He's not even, a, I said before, he's not even a knife. He looks like it's, it's Excalibur sword. And the guy just swerved out. I can't lie, that guy got some good reflexes because if he did not swerve that, yeah, that's straight connecting and 100% hospital. He's rupturing something. And it's the way people are just casually walking past, guys. This is apparently in Leeds, so it's in a town centre of some some form or some sort. But these men are literally having a war in the middle of the town centre while people are shopping for their Ugg boots. Ain't that fucking knife? I've seen a knife. I know a knife. I use knife. You know, like most normal people. But that's not a knife. That is something that's gonna take you straight into the afterlife. Like. And depending on what you've done in your life, depends where you're gonna go. But man that ruled that, straight demon, he's going to hell. Straight demon. How have you got a bandage on? It's the fact that he's got a bandage on and he's doing all of this. Like, it looks like he's already been cut from the other side and he's still outside. Like, this is, these kids got way too much energy. Don't, you, don't lose your life like this, please. So this here is their op. This is a whole grown man, right? And he's beefing Utes. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what the beef's over, but they definitely both got weapons. They both got big machetes, big rambos, big zombie knives, and they're battling it out in the town center. He should know better. You're a grown man. What are you doing? <laughs> Honestly, whose kids are these? Because you can lose your son tonight. These are all boys. You can lose your son tonight and you're gonna look at this video and and you're gonna figure out, try to figure out all the reasons to blame somebody else, but it comes down to upbringing. Who, who are these kids? There needs to be intervention now. This can't go on. 
because they could lose their life and not just that they're going to take someone else's life they look like they're not even past year nine in school seriously we need to start having important conversations <laughs> It's the little one for me. Look at the size of the blade. The blade is bigger than him. It is literally the same size as him, if not bigger than him. And I'm like, I can't lie, he's got a heart. He's got a lot of heart. He's very gutsy. But if you got all his hearts, you should be in the Olympics doing like fencing or something. But instead you're out here fighting in Leeds Town Centre, looking to catch an M and ruin your whole life. Like, this much vim, this much energy. This is why they always say they need to put these kids to, to the army and go to fight because if you guys really want to fight, go out there and you can actually legally get a drill in. So some of the comments from social media. First of all, the cameraman is out of order about that's what you imported to this country. Secondly, these kids need guidance. They're lost. They don't understand. Mm. Bring back youth clubs and community centres where you, where you could go. This is making no sense. I don't think it's always the parents. Some of them are at work and probably think the child has gone home. I hope it's at least... Mm, I'd always blame the parents' upbringing, but, you know. It's not about blame, it's about accountability. That's what I say. Posting these things doesn't help at all. The kids of today are just cruel and fat. There's a big old man in the video encouraging this behaviour and helping. Yeah, I said that. I, said, I did say that. Because why are these little kids out? Where are the parents? What does the government have to say about this? Listen, it's always about the parents. What, I don't know, like, people always want the government to police their kids. And then when the government do police their kids, they start crying too heavily. Oh, no, we don't want stop and search. Like, you need to police your kids. Because if not, the world will do it. And when the world does it, we start to cry. We start to complain about, oh, you know, they're victimising us. But look what is going on. So, guys, community, step up. You, somebody knows who these kids are. It's probably on Snapchat somewhere or on TikTok. You, get to your kids now before the police do. Before they end up killing someone's, someone else's child or someone else's father or daughter, RIP, Ileana Adam. In the week we've had that and just today, just today, another announcement of another stabbing in Croydon of a 30-year-old man. When will it stop? Everyone wants to ask, when will it stop? Hmm... I think it, was, it might start to stop when people start taking accountability. This is not about blame. Blame is about telling people, oh, you know what, that's your kid, so it's your fault. No, accountability is about, actually, that is my child, and maybe I need to ask more questions. I need to look into, into what they're doing outside of the hours. Maybe I'm working too. I don't know, but we got to do something, because this isn't on. Look at that. Nah. RIP all the people that had lost to knife crime. So guys, we'll come to the end of the video. My name is China, I'm the Mandem's voice. If you like the video, then make sure you please like the video. You drop a comment and of course you subscribe. You turn on notification bells so you're gonna be the first to know when we drop new content. Make sure you subscribe to our membership. We've got three different tiers and we yeah. are.